Harlequins hosted Wasps on Sunday with the visitors out for revenge, having been agonisingly beaten at the same venue in the Champions Cup just a month before. And then we get off to the brighter start. Juan de Jong with some neat footwork and handling to gather off the post and dot down. Marcus Smith pulled a penalty back for the hosts before Wasps extended their lead once more. Thomas Young showing off his wheels before reaching out superbly over his head for the score. Just over five minutes later, and disaster struck for Wasps. Kyle Eastman shown a straight red for this swinging arm tackle on Smith. Quinns took advantage of the extra man when Tim Visser found the gap to dive over and bring the scores back to 12-10 following a Smith conversion. Cipriani grabbed a penalty to give Wasps some breathing space before half-time, but just after the break, a turn in the weather brought Quinns level. Aaron Morris gathering a high ball in blustery conditions before running in unopposed. Another Cipriani penalty to take Wasp back in front was then followed by one of the tries of the season. Christian Wade, Robson and De Jong all involved before Young finished off his brace in the corner. The 14 men continued to belie their disadvantage when Vili LaRue stretched the lead to 15 points following another try. And Wasps well and truly proved a bonus point win away from home with one less man was anything but mission impossible when Tom Cruise burrowed his way over. Charlie Matthews did grab a consolation try for the hosts with just under 10 minutes remaining. But the day belonged to Dai Young's men and a masterclass from Cipriani was topped off in style late on. His perfectly weighted chip through found Josh Bassett for the simplest of finishes. Wasps keeping up their title hopes in style, with Harlequins' all but evaporated. 44-22, the final score.